Age 15 and up. Man, I picked a fucking amazing time to come back. Fucking stupid piece of fucking... Hello and hey, this is Zero Goken Reviews, and today we'll be looking at the Figma. Still full. I honestly don't know that much about this character. I know that he's from Fate, and originated in Fate Apocrypha. A light novel that I refuse to read. It was adapted to an anime that I refuse to watch. He also shows up in F-Go, as well as Learning with Manga, which is a gift on God's Earth. Also, Fate Excel Link, which is one of those trashy Warriors-type games, and I actually really like that one. But really, most of what I know about this character are from the, uh, various fan materials. Wait, wait, what does Rider of Black mean? Oh. He's a rider. As in, he rides a hippogriff, and he wears black. Let's take this beautiful boy out of the box. And right off the bat, I'm having a problem. Guess what it is? Well, it turns out that on my copy of the figure, the boots are not symmetrical. This side is lower than the other. Luckily, it's not that big of a deal, since I can take this one off and fix it. The design is basically Pink Jean with, um, DLC. This is fade at its fadiest. You can usually expect this from them. Honestly, I'm just glad that it's not another bloody Figma saber. Because, please stop. We need other characters. Especially, my girl. <laughs> and with the movie, I'm hoping that that might actually happen. Please, Figma. As far as looks goes, he's very cute. Uh, what? Bro, that's kind of gay. Uh... No, and I don't care. Yeah, screw you too. Anyway, the paint is very clean, with quite minimal mishaps overall. They did a fantastic job of adapting this design to figure form, which I believe is based off the anime. And to be honest, I originally wasn't overly keen of this character's design. I just thought he was decently cute, and that's about it. But now that I have this figure right in front of me, He's quite adorable, and I have no idea what I was thinking back then. So for looks, I give this an 8 out of 10. I am very biased, and I couldn't care any less. Actually, wait a minute. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Minus 10 out of 10, worse figma. How do you even explain this? You could probably explain the penis, but what about the balls? I think there's a limit to how small they can be, so immersion shattered. What the hell, Max Factory? Okay, you could probably explain it like this, I guess, but... Hmm... Perfection. It's fairly standard Figma stuff, so I'll keep it brief. These are panties, aren't they? Two additional faceplates, seven additional optional hands, sword, sword hilt, lance, book, what is this doing here? This doesn't come with a figure, unfortunately, and a cape. Putting in the faceplates works the same as most figmas. Just remove this front hair piece and tab in the faceplate. And put this back in. Aside from this smiling face, you get this cute winking face and this cute angry face. And I would like if he came with one of these, but I like what he comes with and I'm not going to complain. 
Hands also work the same as usual Figmas, except for unlike older Figmas, this actually snaps in. Remove the hands and you just need to plug in any of these. These are pretty decent. I don't really have any complaints. For the sword, remove the grip. The sword goes into the weapon holding hands as such, and it can't fit into the scabbard. So that's why we have this hilt. As long as you properly plug it in, actually, it stays in pretty good. If not, it's kind of annoying. The lance works similar to the sword, however, since it's rather large, probably compensating for something, <laughs> it comes unassembled. Just plug in this rod into the hole behind the lance. That's... that's pretty gay. And now you just need to remove the... I don't think lances have pommels, I'm guessing this is just ornamental. You remove this thing. Then put in the lance as so. Isn't this character an idiot? Why does he have a book? Either way, just tab it into the book holding hand and yeah. Right out of the box, this one had a bit of trouble getting into the hole here at first, but after twisting in the stand and kind of leaving it there for a while, I don't seem to have this problem anymore. This is easier if you take the head off first. There you go. And you can tab in the stand into the hole on the back of the cape. The cape has some articulation on it, just two pairs of Figma joints on each side. And I'll be honest, I'm a little bit mixed on this cape. It's not particularly subtle, but I think that was the intention. But what I do have a problem with are furries. I mean, this fur part. Just looking at it, I'm a bit worried about the longevity of this. It looks quite nicer than if it were sculpted in there. Some of it actually did come off. Be careful with it, alright? And also, this dude has some really sharp hair that's in direct contact with them. Just, you know, be careful when moving his head with the cape on. Hayato, other Figmas, Mazinger, X01 Power Arm. Overall, it's a terrible figure. Hashtag, bring back the bulge. In all seriousness, it's a great figure. It looks great and has a good amount of accessories. And my copy of the figure doesn't seem to have any overly problematic mishaps, unlike the last Figma I reviewed. So I can definitely recommend it if you are a fan of this empire built on literal porn, or if you just like how this looks and don't mind the cost of more recent Figmas. Either way, thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing. For more of whatever this is, check the links on the screen, and I'll see y'all next time.